This is just a really short video going over something small I recently implemented. It's called Seeds and it's something I've given to cities. So before, when I moved a city like this, or initialized in any way, even if it's just sort of a loading of a game, it would the, the buildings would move around a lot. This was because every single time the city was reconstructed, that, that you know, even means if it was just moved a centimeter, it had to regenerate all the random positions of all the buildings. And this obviously isn't very good. Um, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit processor intensive, and it also isn't good if I want to replicate things or if I want a city to stay the same when I kind of load and save a game. So I've added seeds. Seeds are something you find in a lot of games. The most notable instance is Minecraft. So when you have a Minecraft world and you you input a seed, you can do that. Um, if you use that seed again and again, it will always be the same. This is because every single random number is generated by by using that original seed. So I've done that with settlements. So this settlement, as you can see, is always the same when I move it. If I move the seed, so the current seed is 5, if I move that to 4, it changes. If I move it to 3, it changes again. And if I move that to 5, it changes again. Now, that's not the only thing that will affect cities. So, you know, if I move the city to here, you'll see it moves a lot. This is because there's depressions and elevation, all that stuff does actually influence, you know, where buildings can be placed. You cannot place buildings on a cliff. So, you know, they won't be able to spawn there. Hence, they can have to be replaced and whatnot. So, yeah, it will be different, but ultimately it always looks relatively similar as long as all the parameters are the same elsewhere. And this is really good. It's, it's a lot better than the system I had before, which was sort of annoying whenever I moved anything. And this means I can actually you know, go into the initial state of the world and make cities look exactly as I want them to.